all the options in the export settings dialog box can make exporting feel like solving a complex Rubik's Cube puzzle. But once you know your specifications, the solution is easy. For this video, we're prepping for a YouTube upload. Thankfully, Google provides guidelines for this. Let's run through the settings, starting at the top. First, we'll choose our file type. For YouTube, we'll create an MP4 file, so we can select that from the Export As menu. Then we'll select what content to output. In this case, the entire sequence. This one's set up with no marks and one active track selector, and the topmost track monitor is active. So we'll make sure use marks and use selected tracks are unchecked. We can keep included and active audio tracks checked to ensure all audio gets exported. Since all the source video in this sequence is 1280 by 720, we can leave source raster at the default. In the image section, we'll choose the destination setting. Media Composer includes a list of presets that make this super simple. And YouTube accepts this sequence's format, so we'll use the HD 1280 by 720 preset. For frame rate, Google recommends matching progressive source or converting to a progressive format. This sequence is 24p, so we use that. For color space, Google recommends Rec 709, so we use that. And to align with Google specs, we'll select Keep as legal range. Okay, on to compression, which often causes confusion. Google recommends H.264, so we'll verify that that is selected in both codec family and compression. That and an 8 bit color depth. And finally, audio. For format, Google recommends AAC, so we use that. Now, there's some flexibility in terms of the other options, so we'll match this project. Stereo for mix, 48 kilohertz sample rate, and a 384 kilobits per second bit rate. That's it. We're ready to hit save and finish prepping for export. 